国产车跟呃合资，包括国外的一些车。已经有了一片竞争的天地。我觉得国产车的现在做工，呃，进步很大，感觉质量也都不错了。国产品牌应该说也是在崛起的这个时代吧，好多那个能源车这块，我觉得还可以去考虑。Can Chinese car makers compete with foreign brands? Have they reached the same level of quality as the typical joint venture production model? According to comments from Chinese consumers, the answer is a resounding yes. A recent article in the international best-selling car blogs by Matt Gasner, entitled "Most Impressive Chinese Car Makers," gave a detailed introduction to various manufacturers and listed the 35 most impressive Chinese-made cars. So we looked at the top 10 and interviewed some relevant company representatives and consumers. It's horses for courses, of course, but there's plenty to be learned by looking at the perception of the Chinese automotive industry in the eyes of international buyers. The following are the top 10 Chinese car brands, as given by best-selling car blog, together with their own thoughts and opinions. Number one, Haval. Haval is Great Wall Motors' version of the city utility vehicle. It has been exported to the European Union since the beginning of 2006, and has made its mark on the international market. Haval is the flagship car of Great Wall. In 2009. Great Wall redesigned its SUV portfolio, switching to the H series. This has played a big role in promoting the Haval for market sales, and it has been the national SUV sales champion ever since, earning its special place in drivers' hearts. 长城汽车表现也非常好。长城的 H9， 它就跟丰田的霸道，呃，很接近，但是价格很优惠。长城哈弗这几年应该是卖的比较火。哈弗 H 六那个就是越野性能啊，各方面的空间呀、啊、操控啊、越野的过水啊，这这这种涉水的性能，我觉得各方面都是应该要高于那个普拉多。十几万的价位，想买到这种款车应该是超值的。Number two, Geely. Geely Automotive has been accelerating fast within the Chinese automobile marketplace. The comparative benefits of taking home a Volvo were until recently clear to everyone. The GC9 is now taking Geely to a whole new level, and giving all other Chinese manufacturers a lift with it. It's now fully armed to compete with overseas models. Number three, BYD. BYD's performance last year was impressive. No surprises there, as it is essentially copied the success of Lexus S6 RX. This year, the company returned to its main area of expertise: new energy vehicles. Its two hybrid SUV models, Song and Yuan, take just 4.9 seconds to accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers per hour. Perhaps the biggest distinction are those names, taken from Chinese dynasties, a fresher approach than the usual dull letter and number combo. As a company founded on unwavering beliefs in the electric battery, BYD's mission remains to be a leader of the new energy vehicle industry. 比亚迪未来发展肯定是往新能源那方那方面发展，现在有 E 六，马上这不是现在比亚迪跟戴勒姆合作出的腾腾势，加上一个唐，再加上现在上海跟深圳卖特好的秦，所以现在比亚迪每年的不管是油电混合还是纯电动的汽车，都是每年在逐步递增。Number four, Hongqi. The international perception of Chinese luxury car brands may still be sputtering. But the Hongqi LS5 proved to be a popular SUV at the last Shanghai Auto Show. Unlike the company's H7 sedan, it has a bit more personality and includes some distinctive Chinese elements. Number five, Leopard. At last year's Beijing Auto Show, the Leopard military vehicle drew quite a few eyeballs. The Leopard CS10 is not exactly a marvel of creative design, but the interior decoration and external appearance are well balanced. Number six, Quaros. Quaros, a joint venture with Cherry and Israeli-backed investment, although the product has reached European standards, sales forecasts are not optimistic. A foray into the European market in 2014 saw only 39 sold. The Chinese market sales volume has so far been less than 4,000. Number seven, Chang'an. Chang'an is Ford's partner in China. And has proved to be a confident player. The Chang'an CS75, 
and Rayton Sedan have both entered the ranks of the best Chinese car models. Number 8. So East So East has made great breakthroughs in its cooperation with Mitsubishi. Its first SUV, the DX7, arrived at a good time and its interior looks both luxurious and rather expensive. Its cooperation with Mitsubishi may have weakened the influence of the So East automotive brand, however. Number 9. Baojun At last year's Beijing Auto Show, this low-end brand, Baojun, a joint venture between SAIC and General Motors, released the 730 MPV. Sales have reached more than 3 million units. What surprised us was that at the Shanghai Auto Show, Baojun cleared the decks for an SUV, the 560, which might go on to become one of China's best-selling cars. We're looking forward to it speeding onto the mainstream SUV market. Although it's not yet a common sight on Chinese roads, compared with similar domestic SUV models, the Baojun 560 has its charms. Number 10, Photon. Most Chinese manufacturers are focused on the bottom line and forget to highlight their own unique position in the industry. Not so the Photon. The Photon and Daimler joint venture production Ame heavy trucks can be seen on almost every construction site in China. The addition of the pickup truck for export overseas makes this brand unique in China and earns it the 10th spot. So that was the top 10 Chinese car brands. Trailing behind are Dongfeng, GAC, Roe, and a few other strugglers. Clearly for Chinese brands that have not yet fully developed their overseas potential, auto shows have become an important means to garner attention from foreign media. When as many as 35 Chinese brands are listed by an international website, we can see that Chinese car makers have come a long, long way. In fact, it's almost hard to keep up.